when I first saw it, it seemed to be a, uh, a play written on a dare to see how many Elizabethan plot points and tropes Shakespeare could shove into one play, and that's actually the take that we do on it, and we do count off all the tropes as we touch upon them throughout the play, all 12. Mistaken identity, fake death, noble youth of love, parental marital veto, fidelity test, yeah. cross-dressing. I think that we're doing Shakespeare how Shakespeare would want us to do Shakespeare. You know, Shakespeare back in Shakespeare's time wasn't posh, it wasn't fancy, it was a bunch of people huddled together in a theater with beer who would yell at the actors when they wanted to hear something again. You know, this Shakespeare wasn't, you know, the high elite thing that we hold it to today. that I might not have had like back home in the US just because being here like on an international stage I feel much more comfortable exploring like what I'm able to do as an actor and kind of doing bolder things here be just because like that's the reputation that the French has so I'm just much more comfortable just really going for it. When you're in a school production you you know all the people the people who come are parents and friends but it's so much fun having an audience that like has, has heard about you or that don't know you and I, I just really love that feeling of being on stage in front of people that don't know you. Do you love Shakespeare? No! Do you hate Shakespeare? Then this, this is, is the, the show, show for you! Come on out to See Cymbeline! 10 a.m. I think it's amazing. This is my first time being to Europe. So I'm just having a great time looking at all of the architecture and seeing all the different people of different cultures here. It's really nice. I wish we could stay here longer and I wish we could do it every year, but we'll take what we can get.